let us solve another get question on this page replacement algorithms so now in this particular problem it has been given that the address sequence generated by tracing a particular program that means there is a particular program a program consists of multiple instructions so i'm just checking that which instruction is getting executed one after another and those instructions respective addresses okay the address sequence generated by tracing a particular program executing in a pure demand based paging system what is the meaning of this demand paging actually we are having two types of paging one is the demand paging and the one is the anticipatory paging or pre paging demand paging means let the page fault occur then we shall load the desired page in the computer's memory that means page fault will occur and that is the basic criteria for loading a certain page onto the memory so that is known as the demand paging and what about the pre paging or anticipatory paging in that case the operating system will utilize some trending will utilize its own intelligence to load a particular page which has not been asked for but it will be loaded in prior before being asked only to or because the operating system is guessing that this page might be required in the near future so that is my anticipatory paging but this is my demand paging that means when the page will be demanded then the page will be called called means it will be get it will get loaded onto the main memory okay so demand based paging system with 100 records per page that means each and every page each and every page will have 100 number of records per page with one free main memory frame there is only one that is only one free memory frame is there and all the pages are supposed to get loaded to that free memory frame there is no other alternative okay is recorded as follows what is the number of page faults so these are the references they have made now i should have to get it what is that what is the thing let me go for say anyone say say 560 i'm taking this one arbitrarily 560 means what now you see if you divide this 560 and if you take the integer part what are you getting we are getting 5 and if you take this 560 and go for the modulus of this what are you getting you are getting 60 that means 560 is that very address which is at, at the fifth page and with the 60th offset of the page so 560 is that very address which is available at the fifth page and with the 60th displacement or offset from the start address of the page so that is being denoted in in this way it will be at the second page and 60th offset third page 20th offset third page 70th 70th offset so in this way the things are taking shape because here we are having the paging system with this particular size 100 means the first page will range from 0 to 99 100 number of locations and second page will be ranging from say 1 to 199 third page will be ranging from that is my 299 in this way so this is my zeroth page this is my first page and this is my second page i have written the same so take any address in between say i am taking this on 265 means what it is in the second page and 65 is the displacement or the offset so in this way i can interpret this referred addresses accordingly so from here i shall make two things one page reference table and the one is the page reference string so what is the difference between page reference table and page reference string i shall come to that point let me write it so i'm going for page reference table and then i shall go for page reference string now see 100 means what 100 means what is 100 100 means page number one then 200 means we are getting 200 here means page number two 430 means page number four 
फोर नाइन नाइन पेज नंबर फोर नेक्स्ट वन इज फाइव वन जीरो नेक्स्ट वन इज फाइव वन जीरो पेज नंबर फाइव फाइव थ्री जीरो पेज नंबर फाइव फाइव सिक्सटी पेज नंबर फाइव इन दिस वाई सी वी कैन राइट इन दिस वाई सो हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सो पेज नंबर वन टू टू जीरो पेज नंबर टू टू फोर जीरो पेज नंबर टू टू सिक्स जीरो पेज नंबर टू थ्री टू जीरो पेज नंबर थ्री एंड लास्ट वन थ्री सेवन जीरो द पेज नंबर थ्री सो दिस इज नोन एज द पेज रेफरेंस टेबल दैट मीन्स आई एम जस्ट फ्रॉम दैट एड्रेसेस फ्रॉम दैट फ्रॉम दैट एड्रेसेस आई एम ट्राइंग टू गेट दैर रेस्पेक्टिव पेज नंबर्स सो आई गॉट इट सो दिस इज नोन एज पेज रेफरेंस टेबल नाउ फ्रॉम दिस पेज रेफरेंस टेबल आई शेल मेक माई पेज रेफरेंस स्ट्रिंग सो वन आई शेल राइट वन टू आई शेल राइट टू फॉर दिस फोर आई शेल राइट फोर वन फॉर फाइव अकॉर्डिंग थ्राइस आई शेल राइट अ सिंगल टाइम फाइव वाई बिकॉज यू सी एट फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट पेज विल बी कॉल्ड सो पेज फेल पेज फॉल्ड विल टेक प्लेस बिकॉज इनिशियली द फ्रेम वॉज वैकेंट सो पेज वन विल बी लोडेड नाउ नेक्स्ट सेकेंड पेज विल बी कॉल्ड हाउ मेनी फ्रेम्स आर देयर only one frame so second page will be called so the first page number 1 will be replaced by the page number 2 okay next page 4 will be called so page number 2 will be replaced by page number 4 again when page 4 will be called it is already in the memory so there is no question of any kind of page fault here because i am referring the two consecutive addresses or say three consecutive addresses three consecutive addresses which are available in the same same page so when the when the first address has got executed that means the respective page is already in the frame so for the next addresses i need not to bother it will be there already so that's why in case of page reference string i shall write these page numbers from the page reference table in such a way that consecutively there will be no same page number so that is the main difference between page reference table and page reference string so 1 1 2 2 2 times 4 single time 4 3 times 5 single time 5 1 will be there then 3 times 2 only 1 2 2 times 3 then only 1 3 so that is known as the page reference string and here here we are having only here we are having only one frame so for each and every time there will be one page fault for each and every time there will be one page fault when 5 is there existing in the memory then one has been called 5 page number 5 will be replaced to make a room for the page number 1 similarly page number 1 will get replaced to make a room for the page number 2 in this way each and every occur, uh, every uh, demand of this particular page will cause one page fault so please tell me the length of the string tell me what is that that is 7 so 7 will be the answer so in this way from this very addresses i'm getting page reference table from the page reference table i'm getting page reference string and from the page reference string i shall get this particular 7 but obviously in your gate exam you shall not have say long 10 minutes to solve one such problem very simple problem this one so from here you just from the i estimation you can easily calculate in this way 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 i shall write 7 it will take hardly 10 seconds to mark this particular 7 and get the full marks out of this question i think you have got the uh, logic i have written this one in elaborately thanks for watching this video